What's up, who's next? I'm Kayla, and welcome back to another video. As you might have been able to tell already by the day, if you're watching this, the day it's uploaded, I am your Friday this week, and the theme, birthday, is because of me. All of the videos that the other members of Who's Next made were so creative and everything, and I have had such a busy week, and I just got back from Florida, and I have friends coming in today. So I decided that I would just tell you guys a story about the worst birthday that I ever experienced. I don't know really how to transition into story time videos, so I'm just gonna start. Whoa. So this occurred in my eighth grade year. I was turning 13. I've always been a year younger than everyone else in my grade, so all of my friends were turning 14, and I was turning 13. My friend and I have very similar birthdays. Our birthdays are a couple days apart, so we were having birthday parties around the same time. And I remember being at school, and you know, I already knew what I wanted to do for my birthday party because my sister, who's five years older than me, had her 13th birthday party, and it was so fun. Also, I thought everything was more fun when I was younger. Maybe it wasn't even that fun, but I remember feeling so lucky that I got to be a part of it. She had a potato sack race, she had golf cart races, because we lived in a gated community where there was a golf course and everything, so we had a golf cart. She had like pool games that we played, she had like an awesome cake, everyone was in their bathing suits, and she had the one thing that I was so excited to do for my 13th birthday, which was to have a scavenger hunt. Now, I had always loved that idea. I seriously, for all five years that passed, I was just looking forward to my 13th birthday party because first of all, I was becoming a teenager. And second of all, I was like, wow, I have to celebrate this in an awesome way. And what better than a scavenger hunt around the entire neighborhood? So the scavenger hunt pretty much consisted of my mom, you know, making a list of things and we'd go door to door and just see if they had it. And if not, then that was cool. But if they did, then we'd kindly ask them to give it to us. But it wouldn't be things that were obviously necessities. It'd be things that you didn't really use, you know, like, you know, a, a staple, like one staple or a can of cream of mushroom soup or some sort of other soup that nobody really used. I remember being at school and <laughs> talking to all my friends about it. I remember telling them, yeah, I'm gonna do a scavenger hunt, all that kind of stuff. And then my friend, who was in the same class as me and had a similar birthday, said, You're doing a scavenger hunt? And I said, yeah, of course. I I've been wanting to do it for a while. And I just saw her face get so angry. And of course she had been friends with everyone for a very long time, since probably elementary school, whereas I had only known them since sixth or seventh grade. It's kind of not hard to pick sides in that kind of situation. Girl gets really mad. I'm actually just gonna call her Ashley. Ashley starts getting really mad and freaking out about how I'm copying her idea when I didn't even know. We're having a birthday party. I think it was one day apart or something like that, but I knew that it wasn't even gonna be the same because she, I remember her saying something about how she was gonna go to Target and McDonald's and all that kind of stuff and I was just gonna go door to door with like my friends. But because mine was a day before hers, mine was on a Friday night I think and hers was on a Saturday night, she got really, really upset with me and this is when all hell broke loose. So I wouldn't say I had the best group of friends when I was in middle school. I was sort of mixed in with the popular crowd and it's just where I fell in, it's just where I felt most comfortable and where I thought I was happiest. Little naive Kayla not knowing how pretty much tormenting they were as people was super okay with it. Super okay with them freaking out over little things and then coming back and then leaving again when they weren't happy about something rather than, you know, working out our problems like normal people. Ashley starts telling everyone not to go to my birthday party because I'm copying her and pretty much turns a lot of my friends against me because obviously they were gonna have to pick sides because it wasn't really because Ashley wasn't really giving them an option. So I guess precedence comes first, so since they'd known her for a longer amount of time, they went with her, and I remember just like crying when I got home, wondering like what I did wrong. I was bawling, and then it was two days later, closer to my party, I was trying to get people, you know, to RSVP if they were coming, and everyone was like, no, I'm going and the thing was is that it was on two separate nights. So I didn't even understand, you know, the significance of it really being that big of a deal if they went to one and then went to the other. But Ashley 100% wasn't gonna go to mine, so I don't really think that that many other people wanted to go, especially because she'd be mad at them if they did. So at this point, I was sort of the laughing stock of the school. This happened a lot in middle school. I was, you know, the, the butt end of the joke. I was always the one who was picked on, unless, you know, I did something that deemed me as cool with them or anything like that, but this was just 
a situation that was seriously almost deemed unforgivable. I mean seriously, for literally months after the fact, she wouldn't even talk to me. And I would apologize and stuff. I didn't even know what I was apologizing for. I didn't have a reason to apologize, but it was just the person I was at the time where I would apologize just to make things better. And then hope that it never happened again, which it inevitably did. But I remember waking up the morning of my party just dreading everything. I remember like crying the night before. I remember waking up being like, well, nobody's gonna come. I, you know, had this cute outfit planned. I was doing my hair, my makeup, and I was just so excited to have people over and I thought this was gonna be the best birthday ever. I thought 13 was seriously like the best birthday ever to exist. So when it did come time for people to show up, I had a few friends that came over for the scavenger hunt, like maybe three or four, and we just went around, we got split up into you know groups of two and just went to a couple houses, came back, and then whoever won got a little prize that my mom had put together. My mom had put so much work into it too, and she knew how much I wanted it, so she didn't really let you know the issue. My mom was so mad. My mom was heated. She was triggered, to say the least. But you know, she still told me to have the party. She told me not to let other people back me down. Thank God for my mom. After the scavenger hunt, um, a few more people came over, but they were people that didn't go to my school. They were just people that lived in my neighborhood and that I would talk to every so often because I was pretty close friends with the people that lived in my neighborhood because we would all just drive on golf carts to each other's houses and everything like that. We had a bonfire in our backyard too because I thought that was going to be a cool thing. I thought we were going to open presents, have cake, and just have the best party ever. And then more people started to come and, you know, we were starting to talk by the fire and it slowly became a better birthday, but it was still so frustrating because even during my party on Facebook and stuff, there were posts about how I was copying people and like I hope I have fun at my like copycat party or whatever and one of the kids that actually went to her party was a kid that I was very you know attracted to we had dated a couple times and he didn't go to my party but he went to hers and so that was sort of crappy too oh what's up I'm I know I'm recording oh sorry what's up nothing how was your lunch it was good I'm still eating it kind of and I just seriously cannot remember a birthday where I cried harder or was angrier or just felt so like hopeless. But a lot of my friends coming over who lived in the neighborhood and you know backing me up and just telling me how great my birthday party was was really nice and it and it helped my birthday get better but it was it was still definitely the worst birthday that I've ever had. If a friend just makes you feel that low, they're not a friend. I don't talk to almost all the people that were involved with it regularly. So now looking back on it, I realize just how silly it was and how those aren't friends. Those are people that only want you when it's convenient for them. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. I hope it was somewhat funny and not super melodramatic. If you guys have any horrible birthday stories, let me know down below. Let's laugh at our past experiences. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to go follow me on all my social media and on my main channel down in the description. I'll see you guys next week and be sure to come back tomorrow to find out who's next. Bye!